Hello, this is DIY Reptiles. Today I will be sending you guys back like a couple of months and doing a couple different updates uh, leading up to um, now of these guys' progress. These are the um, Red Runner Roaches and the Madagascar Hissing Cockroaches. And I did a video on both of these, how to set them up, and I've had them in these enclosures and they've been doing really well. So I want to show you guys the, the progress they've made and um, just how they're doing. Okay guys, so I think I might have had these for um, a couple weeks now. And um, I finally got an egg sack thing, which they produce, and the lighting is very bad, so here. Um, it is in this dark hole there, but um, that's pretty cool, and I'm quite excited about that because these guys are really cool. Like, look at this. This is a big adult female right there. They're really colorful, and they're fast, and I'm just excited to, like, actually feed them to stuff because right now I haven't been doing that because I want them to breed, and I don't want to, um, yeah, I want, I want them to grow up and become a colony, so I haven't been feeding any of them off, but I only find, I've only found one egg sac so far, and they've been doing well, um, I moved them to, I just gave them some food there, that's what I was doing, I moved them to this area, so, um, it's really warm up in the top of my iguanas cage, so I just have them sitting, actually I want to position it this way, I have them sitting here, um, because it's nice and warm and then I also have the um hissing cockroaches here and their container needs cleaned out because it got all moldy but um if if I remember correctly hissing cockroaches don't really um care as much about humidity so that's why I haven't like been cleaning them out immediately like I know like humidity can really kill a dubia roach colony and um, I do believe they can, uh, humidity can really hurt a red runner roach colony, but I don't think it's the same with these guys. And I do, I, ha I need to buy a container. Actually, I think I'm gonna look on Amazon because I might order one. I need to buy a container and then I'm going to put a um, little hole thing in it like that, um, but a, like a airtight one. That's why they're in this peanut butter jar here. So I guess I'll clean them out and um, do stuff, but I was just feeding the roaches and I saw that egg sac and that's really exciting to me because I, I really want to grow out that um, roach colony there because they're just gonna, they're gonna be really cool. Um, they're, they're really cool roaches, so. Okay guys, so this is a bit of an update on my do you, on my roaches. So I have the red run roaches and the Madagascar hissing cock roaches. I just got them out because I'm going to feed them some bell peppers, um, uh, romaine lettuce, and collard greens. And I just fed Charles. Here's Charles. Um, he's just chilling there. But I have the door open because I just took some of the old greens out of here and threw them in there. And I think I accidentally got some babies in there. So uh, that's all right. But as you can see, this is what actual baby red runner roaches look like. I had never seen these in my life, honestly. I had no idea they were this tiny. You see how tiny, tiny that is? So these guys are actually for sure breeding now. Like they're a proper breeding colony. Uh, but there's bunches of babies in here. All right, let's see if I can if I flip this over. There's some. So you can see they're properly breeding. I thought that like those guys were the babies or something but no it's these tiny tiny things i had no idea so that's the coolest thing and as you can see here i just checked under this beneath this thing this is where like all of them are um there's a bunch of eggs in here so um the otheca otheca i don't know that's how i'm going to pronounce it because it's kind of fun that way but here you can see all of the roaches are in here and there's a bunch of adult males in one's out there's five adult males now. There was originally one, so that's really interesting that there's a bunch of them. <laughs> um, yeah, there was, I think I started out with one adult male and now there's a bunch. Speaking of adults, here I'm gonna, 
throw some food in there. They don't really seem to eat very much, which is pretty strange. Like, uh, it's never like a noticeable amount is gone with them. It kind of just dries up because I keep them very dry in here. So I'll just go ahead and give them some food. I generally, what I do is if it's safe for iguanas, I pretty much feed everybody else that. So like if I'm thinking about feeding my bearded dragon something, I make sure it's safe for iguanas. And that's only to do with like veggies. I don't feed, you know, like obviously green iguanas are, they can eat more fruit. They shouldn't eat a ton of fruit, but they can eat more fruit than other herbivorous reptiles. Um, but generally, I just based on whatever the iguana eats, everybody else eats. So um, here are, so those are really tiny cockroaches. Here are really big cockroaches. So here we have the Madagascar hissing cockroach. And oh my goodness, these guys are huge. Like, all right, I'll try to get, look at that. That's an adult, I, that, I believe that's an adult male because you can see the horns on it. Wowzer Bowser, that's a massive roach, and look at that! That's huge! That has to be a big female right there. And just gee whiz, these are massive. They better start producing soon, because that would just be the coolest thing ever. These, I love these roaches so much. These are, like, they are just massive. This makes me want to get um, the, uh, the giant cave roaches, because I know those are even, I'm pretty sure those are even bigger, um, because I've seen those before, but I wouldn't be able to get them until, um, you know, like, reptile, um, until reptile stuff starts back up again, um, what is that, Rep reptile expos, so, um, that's just a little bit of an update. I know, I, I believe there was a clip before this about the red runner which is laying eggs, but now there is something about the actual babies have hatched at this point, so that's really cool. These guys, I never see any food left over, and I don't normally give them this much, so this is actually quite a lot, but um, it might not look like it, but there's actually quite a lot of ventilation here. This is filled with a ton of little tiny holes, um, and these guys can uh, actually go through more humidity. So I've thought about when I set up my crust geckos to have one of the enclosures be a cohabitation between these guys and the crust geckos, and I very well might do that still because it's very common for these guys to be kept in bioactive enclosures, especially ones with like rotting stuff on the bottom, and that's basically my crust gecko enclosures. So um, I think that that would be really cool, but I'm gonna close my iguana's cage real quick before it um, decides that it wants to get out, but. Um, I would keep more roaches in here, except they can crawl up the top and um, they can crawl out right there. So, and they would drown in the water because I put doobie roaches in there and that's what they decided to do. But that was just a real quick update on the lovely roaches that I love because they're awesome. Here's a, another update on the red runner roaches. It's currently, uh, what, May 27th? Um, so I've had them for quite a long time now. Um, and there are a ton of adult males now, and also quite a few adult females, and there's babies running everywhere. Um, I haven't changed, like, anything. Sometimes I take out dried food, um, but none of the food ever goes, like, moist in here, it, or, like, rots or anything. It just dries, um, which I guess is pretty nice for me. And then I'll just, like, throw it in my guana's cage. Oh, there one goes. There's another one. Whoa. Big. <laughs> okay. I gotta get this guy. That was pretty crazy. I don't know if you guys could see that at all, but this guy just, like, flew down. Like, he didn't, like, he glided, which is pretty interesting. But, yeah, there's a ton of babies in here, which is awesome. And um, they've been eating vegetables and, I guess, oats. Um, I don't really, I haven't, I don't even think I've, like, restocked the oats, but there you can see a really small baby right there, um, which is pretty crazy. It's pretty insane how small these guys are, um, which doesn't help that they're super duper fast, but here's an update on the giant hissing, Madagascar hissing cockroaches, um, oof. 
I need to get that out. That's a uh, piece of cucumber. Um, generally, things don't rot in here because um, they generally, like, they're really good eaters, but they are massive now. Like, all of them. It's insane. This one isn't. It's just a little guy. But the rest of them, I mean, these aren't even the big ones here, right? Oh, that is an adult male right there. Massive. And then you can see under there is an adult female. Um, they've been doing very well for some reason. Yeah, there you can see an adult female right there. So I have adult males and I have adult females, or I have an adult male at least. Um, I don't know if I have multiple, but I know I have one at least. Um, so why they aren't breeding, I don't know. But um, hopefully they'll start producing babies because these guys are awesome and they're huge and I really want to see how big the babies are because I'm pretty sure they're like super large so um I think that'll be I mean compared to red runner roaches or dookie roaches so um I'm gonna go ahead and take some paper towel wipe that off real quick and then give them fresh veggies so to wrap it up since uh the setup of these guys these guys have uh laid Otheka and they have had a ton of babies and they also have um, molted a lot and there's lots of adult males and adult females um, and then these guys have just been growing a ton and I hope that they will start producing but they have not for me yet um, I do keep these guys warm and everything like that man they're massive uh, I keep them in the top of my green iguana enclosure and it stays nice and hot there there's a uh, this is the top of my room. My room's generally pretty warm, so there's that. And then there's a heat pad under my Doobie Roach enclosure up there, so that contributes to heat. And then there is a ceramic heat emitter in those, um, in each of those two, uh, things. But I only have one on right now because it is the summer and it is quite hot. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like down below. If you have any comments or concerns, in the comments below. And if you want more content, then subscribe. Have a fantastic day.